for you maybe somewhere between two and three hundred bucks just one time and usually you can make an arrangement to pay that webmaster over time now I have found that lately especially you can spend a lot less and get the same results if you really search for a webmaster that isn't quite charging as much so you can shop around and get this down to I would bet you less than half of that cost then beyond that one time you're gonna need to pay for your domain when you set it up and that'll cost you probably about ten bucks so the maximum that you're gonna spend on this total if you just really get it out there and, uh, and you're shopping around properly maximum you're gonna spend is about three hundred and ten dollars just to get the ball rolling and get this started so there are a couple of mindsets that you're gonna need to program yourself with so to speak as you're selling on the web and not selling by calling somebody up on the phone and so we're looking at the slide here and you can see you and you can see the customer now you're trying to create a relationship here right you want to make sure that everything you tell the customer about you that it relates back to the customer now why would you need to do this well what most people do on the internet is they try to get their name out there they try to kind of promote themselves and what you need to understand about internet marketing is that nobody cares about you as much as you do but they certainly do care about themselves tremendously so if you're gonna tell somebody about them about yourself and you're gonna have them get to know you you might make sure that everything you say everything you share relates directly back to them and what their wants needs and desires are remember those fears and frustrations if you had any similar fears and frustrations when you first started out losing weight or whatever well might be a good thing to share beyond that what about your product you gotta tell them about your product right well sure but only tell them what they need to know only tell them how your product relates to how they're gonna get their results and then finally what about your business don't they need to know about your business well no not really but <laughs> the point is here that again you wanna make sure your business relates back to them anything that doesn't directly relate to them you want to leave that out of the conversation this will help you hone and filter what you're gonna to communicate to your prospective customer uh, efficiently effectively and in a compelling way as well in fact you want to even think about this like all other information other than information about your customer needs to link back to the customer and their needs you can think of it like there's a spotlight on your customer the whole time in this world of you your product your business and your customer your customer is the number one focus always so just don't forget that your customer or your prospects only care about the direct connection between these other things and what they want now I'm gonna give you an example of what I really mean by some of the ways that I am asking you to communicate with your prospective customers so again we're gonna move into that weight loss coaching category and here's a book and it, you can find it on Amazon called Clinique Science Weight Loss a simple method for losing weight rapidly and completely while improving your health and reducing your risk of developing heart disease cancer and a variety of other diseases this is a 340 page book so you can imagine it's got a lot of information in it 340 pages it's by a doctor, Dr. George Ekema or Ekema or however you pronounce George's name. And the Amazon.com sales rank is 2,528,000. So there are 2.5 million books that are better sellers currently than Clinique Science Weight Loss. Now let's look at a different book, a, a book in the same category of weight loss that's competing with Clinique Science Weight Loss and this book is called skinny bitch a no-nonsense tough love guide for savvy girls who want to stop eating crap and start looking fabulous now as you can see here it says it's a number one New York Times bestseller so you can imagine where we're going with this now this book is only 224 pages probably doesn't have near as much of the quality information as Clinique Science does and this is by two people and neither of them are doctors so the amazon.com sales rank is 218 there, at the time that I actually did this test there were only 218 
other books or 217 other books that sold more than Skinny Bitch. Now, why does a book with less credibility and probably less substance outsell one written by a PhD? Well, let's take a look. First, did they know their customers? Well, they know that their customers want to lose weight, but the authors or the marketers that uh, ended up titling Skinny Bitch knew that people that are looking for a book on weight loss are looking for a lot more than just information. Probably they know that they're looking for a little entertainment because when people saw Skinny Bitch they probably laughed. But even underneath that the people that wrote Skinny Bitch were thinking about a very particular group, a very particular tribe. And when you have you know young, uh, young uh, gals in our country, you know there are a lot of different things that are going on in the culture. And part of the culture is that uh, the girls in our in our country know there's a certain hierarchy, there's a certain status that uh, gals that are skinny have over gals that are maybe a bit overweight. And um, the the individuals that are a bit overweight are probably have a desire or a longing to have the status that the skinny bitch has, if you will. And so bottom line being, they really got inside the mind of a particular segment of people that want to lose weight. They did it in a funny way, but underneath that kind of funny, entertaining, ha ha ha, I'm just getting this book because I think it's funny, there's a deep desire not just to lose weight, but to get the status involved with losing weight as well. And they really identified a particular uh, group here, a no-nonsense, tough love guide. So it's kind of like, we're, hey, look, we're just going to be real straight with you. Uh, for savvy girls, so these are girls who think of themselves as intelligent and who aren't going to take any crap from somebody. You know, they're going to have that, a little bit of that skinny bitch inside of them, even if they're not already one, right? And they don't, they don't want to keep eating crap, and they want to start looking fabulous. So this is about how they look, this is about their status, and this is about being smart enough to not eat crap. And there's a lot inside of that title that is very, very impactful and effective for that particular marketplace. So just consider that beyond just trying to get some attention with your title, that if you properly get inside the mind of the tribe or the community that you are trying to influence, that you're trying to generate leads from, and you properly communicate that you that you understand where they are and that you're going to offer them not just the surface level of the result that they want, but you're going to offer them all the benefits that come with that, the ones that they most desire. Remember, fears, frustrations, and desires. And you can put that with, within the internet marketing that we're talking about here, then you're going to be very effective in attracting new clients and customers. So here are a couple more examples of ways to communicate a particular benefit, a particular um, value to a particular group of people. So let's start with uh, women that are in love with a particular man. So here's one. Seven relationship truths every woman in love must learn. So if you're a woman in love, there's a good chance that that might at least raise an eyebrow and probably attract you enough to maybe give enough to maybe